Okay, so let's do this problem. Uh, it says, what type of intermolecular forces would you expect to exist between molecules CBr4? Okay, so if I have a, a bulk solution or a bulk uh, substance, um, carbon tetrabromide, what forces would um, two carbon tetrabromide molecules feel between each other? What intermolecular forces? Okay. So the first thing you want to do in these in these problems is identify well um, the types of intermolecular forces that could be present. Okay. So. Um, Br and C, of course, we're going to have a polar bond between them. But Br is not electronegative enough uh, to have hydrogen bonds, not to mention there's no hydrogens in this, this molecule. Okay? So we're really at the point of deciding, is this a polar or a nonpolar molecule? Okay? Can anybody help me out? Is that going to be a polar or a nonpolar molecule? Non-polar, non right? Okay. So let's just draw this molecule. Now we'll draw it Vesper theory. Okay. So just to show the non-polarity, right? Um, we're going to have a dipole arrow, dipole arrow, dipole arrow, and dipole arrow. They're all pulling opposite of each other and to an equal extent, so they cancel each other out. So the overall dipole moment of this molecule is zero. Okay? Is everybody okay with that? So when so that means this molecule is a nonpolar molecule, like you were saying. Okay? So, since this is a nonpolar molecule, um, it can't have dipole dipole interactions. Does everybody understand that, right? Because you need a dipole to have those types of interactions. So, the only types of interactions that carbon tetrabromide could have with another car carbon tetrabromide is the most minimal, okay, the dispersion forces or London forces. Okay, so if we were to classify what intermolecular interactions between molecules of carbon tetrabromide, we would say dispersion forces. Okay, dispersion or London forces, whichever one you like. Any questions on that one? Wonderful. 